we had gone down to our son's home. Um, his wife had had a baby a few months before, and we hadn't gotten to see it except for pictures on the internet. So we were going down and taking my mother down to see her great-grandchild. And they were in the kitchen, my son, his wife, and Quay were in the kitchen and they were talking. And they were staying in the kitchen basically because they, they were smoking and they didn't want it around the baby. And Quay had on a pair of shorts that, I know this is on most people's shorts, they, there's that little pocket inside of the pocket that's not really good for anything except maybe some change. Well, Quay puts his lighter in down there so he can find it. So they're in the kitchen, and my son needs a lighter. He can't find his lighter. Well, Quay pulls the lighter out of his pocket and says, is this your lighter? And our son Andrew says, yes, yes it is. So he hands it to him, and he reaches in that same little pocket and pulls out another lighter and says, "And is this your, whose lighter is this? And his wife says, that's my lighter. And he pulls out, he reaches in, he pulls out another lighter, and it's purple. And he says, well, whose lighter is this? And it wasn't Andrew's, and it wasn't his wife, and it wasn't Quay's. It turned out to be his, his wife's brother, who hadn't even come in, the, hadn't even got there yet. He came in maybe a half hour, 45 minutes later. But Quay had already had his lighter. Now, how he got the lighter from the gentleman was <laughs> really freaky. Uh, basically, the way he explains it is stepping out of time and then back in. Um, like I said, most of the stuff that he talks about, ascension and the different dimensions and all this is way over my head. I can't, every time he starts to explain something to me, but duality and polarity, I, I just tell him, you, you, you got to dumb it down for me a little bit, baby, because I just don't understand. But that's part of it. Um, another time he, he's getting really into, he really wants to give up eating meat um, and become a vegetarian, but he doesn't like the vegetables in the stores um, because of the GMO. Um, factor. So he wanted to go to a roadside stand and buy some corn. Um, so I told him, I said, well, I know of one. I don't know if they're open today, um, but we can drive past. And we did, and they weren't open. But we went on out to the Walmart, and we were going to stop in Walmart and get a few things, and he wanted to check about his glasses. And when we came out of the Walmart, or when we got out of the car and was going in, actually into the Walmart, this pickup truck pulls in, and it's got bushels of fresh corn in the back of it. And I was joking, and I said, oh, look, honey, there's your corn. And sure enough, this guy had been to a farmer's market, and this was what he had left over. So he sold Jonathan corn, or Quay, I'm sorry, Quay corn right then, right off the back of the truck. Um, as far as when he's not Father Indigo, he's now Quayabella Gayo. Um, he does talk with the accent. He does know things. Um, makes me laugh. Sometimes really gets me ticked off at times. When, especially when I don't want to go somewhere and he says, we need to go somewhere. Um, uh, it just, you know, it's like, but I take him because he's usually right. Um, there's only been one instance where we've, he said, we need to go somewhere, and we've driven around, but he couldn't figure out what he needed to go for. Uh, um, another time, we went down to the Family Dollar, and he's like, I need to go talk to that person over there. And I was like, you know, I always ask why. Tell him, don't ask why, just, you know, i got to do it. I always ask him why. Well, I don't know why, but he goes over, and usually he wants to talk to people about the ascension and things like that. This he said he walked over, and um, I went on into the store, 
and um, he said he knew immediately when he went over to her that she was not open to him talking about the ascension or, or ascension or whatever because he can tell if that person's open to those views or not. Um, so he just basically asked her if she had a light for his cigarette and was standing there. And while he was standing there, she got a phone call. She had been waiting for a ride. Well, her ride couldn't come and pick her up, so she was kind of stuck. And when I came out, he offered her that we would take her home. And it turns out she lives right up the road from us probably a mile and a half up the road from us. So it really wasn't even out of our way. It was just one of those little instances where he was where he needed to be. All I'm saying is if you have a family member who is telling you this stuff, keep an open mind because like I said, I had a closed mind when we were up in Ohio and it caused a lot of problems for us. It really did. And a lot of that was because I would not listen to him.